eight elite athletes who were deliberately and flagrantly losing their matches. Why? ABC's Bill Weir leads our coverage again tonight from the London Olympic Games on the scandal and the celebration. It was Missy Franklin's turn to add to her stockpile of gold tonight as the women's 4x200 freestyle relay team beat the Aussies by more than two full seconds. While in the gym, Miami's Danelle Leva needed his best performance on the high bar to medal and per tradition got the good luck clap from his stepfather and coach. It worked. He stuck the dismount, let out a howl, and rejoiced his bronze medal with golden joy. And while Great Britain broke their gold medal drought with wins in rowing and cycling today, London is also buzzing about badminton. And the eight players expelled from the games, not for doping, but for losing on purpose in order to avoid stronger teams in the next round. This is the way elite badminton usually looks. But this is the way America's arch rival, the Chinese top seeds play, deliberately serving into the net again and again, eight times, despite a chorus of boos and a warning from officials. Then watch this, China lets it drop and South Korea follows up by serving it way outside the line. An Indonesian team followed suit by tanking and the South Korean head coach admitted the Chinese started this, so we did the same. Remember, this is not backyard barbecue badminton. This is the fastest racket sport in the world where the shuttlecock can travel over 200 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour faster than Andy Roddick's serve. And lightning quick shuttlers wear each other down with cunning and finesse. And in Britain, every town has a club where devotion is second only to soccer and cricket. Sorry, I'm a sportsman, like. That would never happen in your club team. I don't think the British team would behave like that. <laughs> But she's not above teaching a clumsy American in socks to respect this game. I gotta tell you, against a pro, the birdie is a blur. And as for the Chinese, South Korean and Indonesian teams, they could face further sanctions from the IOC. South Korean's appeal was rejected today. And Diane, as for the fans who paid good money to watch actual games, the IOC is considering giving them refunds.